Riddle me this. church today church yeah i haven't been to church for two years i know but i thought you might watch it on the one that i had this morning i don't feel like it's strong anymore not no, like back in the day strong. they're wicked they're, they're not doing putting no. i don't know what they're doing nowadays or nothing is that's what nothing is making now like one time did i put the cup over there no no Really? This is how we're starting the vlog? Oh my gosh, it's stuck in my hair. <laughs> oh, I'm just a disaster, clearly. Hey loves, it's A back on your screen with another vlog. Hope you're all well. As you can tell from the montage, I had a jam-packed day making cookies in the morning. Did yoga, didn't have time to show you the sesh, but if you watch the vlogs before, you know how that goes. Then I went to go visit my good grandma. Spent a little time with her, and then I saw Faven, who I haven't seen in, I don't even remember. It's been at least a year, if not more. And so much has changed. She's another one of my friends that I got married recently, so I just gave her a little treat. Hopefully she likes it. Where is, oh, here. Here. No, that's not it, girl. I don't know about you, but I put all of my purses, even my not so expensive ones, back in their dust bag just so I know where they are when I need them. But like I was saying, Sunday fun day, <sighs> brunch, that coffee was so good. I wish I didn't get something so sweet with it though, but you know, the French toast, that needed to cook a little longer. I only could eat half. After what I ate yesterday, if you saw last week's vlog, I'm like, I don't want to play tricks on my tummy again. But it was more important to catch up with an old good friend and just see how much has changed since the pandemic. Like, it's crazy. I tried to upload my video last night while I was sleeping, 2.30 a.m. Tell me why I got up at 8, checked it, it was only 40%. It uploaded by the time I left, but then there were two copyright claims, so I've been dealing with that. Where's my phone? I don't even know where I put my phone. All I do know is... <laughs> I was trying to fix it on my phone, but they don't make it for mobile. It's so stupid, you don't even care. I was listening to some good pods on the way home about external locus of control. If you know, you know. If you don't, Google it. It's really important that you know these kind of things. And I feel like I'm going on like the weirdest tangent of all to start the vlog. So let me just make some tea, switch into some home clothes, because I was on the TTC. Probably gonna do a little bit of editing tonight and then that's that on that. The weekend is a wrap. I swear, 48 hours is not enough. I swear, we should have a three or four day work week and then a three or four day weekend. Just say, vote me for mayor or prime minister. <laughs> I've been meaning to burn this candle and by meaning literally for over a year I think my mom got this for me for my birthday last year I'm the worst when it comes to candles I just want to save them I don't know what it is and I shouldn't say it's just candles because honestly I have gift cards too from last year I don't know what the deal is with me but unless it's something I can eat I will savor it until I have moments like today with the weather I'm feeling it wick for safety fall fragrance Ooh, you know it's gonna be a good week when it didn't take that long to light the wick usually whenever I do these lighting scenes for you guys it's five minutes that I cut down candles diffusers and diffuser reeds that's all I need and a good cup of tea 
This is my perfect Sunday night. I'm obsessed with this thing and I can't explain it. Whoop. Morning loves, hope you're all well. I'm gonna have a little matcha moment before I log on. Monday's starting off well, never thought I would say that. You know, I just gotta go with the flow. Got a couple errands to run later today. Maybe I'll bring you on my adventures. Otherwise, I gotta edit my pods, schedule and upload them. I'm so happy that I finally finished a vlog on time, so I don't have to worry about that today. This is a little things, okay? <laughs> I can hear my computer really doing the most to start. <laughs> okay, matcha. Let's do, which one am I done in a while? I don't know what kind of matcha this is. What is with these new, they have to be new. I'm assuming they're new. But what is with these new people who are doing deliveries and knocking on the door like they're po po four four? Like, hello, hello. The way he knocked and he was so kind and soft spoken when I opened the door. Honestly, if you want to scare a woman working hard, that's how you do it. Sephora, Black Friday. No, I'm kidding. This is not a Black Friday. This is limited edition. It's been sold out for a few weeks. I might open this if I can't see. Where's the opening? This is the ever so popular Lip Sleeping Mask by Laneige. I remember the first time I bought this, I'm like, this is overhyped. But the trick is more is more. Not less is more, more is more. And this is in mango. You know, pretty girl. It's basically tradition at this point that every fall VIB sale, I get a limited edition and then I stock up on the regular one during the spring sale. This one is, I don't know, cocoa mint or something like that. I love it. It smells so good. And I'm not usually like a mint lip person. I hate the ones that actually cool or burn your lips. Not here for it. This one's way more subtle than I thought it'd be. But I really like it. And I don't usually like the fruity ones they have. Like there's a couple, like the gummy bear one, and I love purple, but that scent is too fake for me. Anyway, it's probably gonna be my haul of the week. <laughs> Let me put it in the box because I don't need it right now. This is more like back stock, and it already sold out in two days. So, I mean, Laneige is always gonna be popular, but I'm gonna actually get dressed bundled up because it's minus something degrees out there and go for a little walk, just so I'm out of the house. Mondays are so hard. It's a lot of stuff all at once, and I find myself staying in other than going to the gym all day, and that's not good. I need to get some fresh air. Inquisitive to know what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Remember that? Yeah, you always used to teach me things. Yes, I'll show you what little things and so forth. Those are good memories, even in my old age here, you know. Mm-hmm. Very hard to go when you're on your own. But I pray and hope you'll get somebody. You need a companion, you need somebody, you know, to go out with and to have a bit of life and so on. So I'm praying for you, my dear girl. Thank you, great grandma. And ask the good Lord to take care of you and to help you and direct you. Okay? Yes, great grandma. Yes, my dear. God bless you. Great grandma is so adorable. She's like, you're a good looking girl, you'll find someone right for you eventually. Grandparents, great grandparents. It's fitting though that I make her soup now. We're gonna make the soup she taught me years ago. I showed you how to do it. If you want the real full recipe, you can check back in the vlog archives. I'm just gonna do a little montage of the situation because you've seen this one before. Tell me this doesn't only happen to me. Where you start to do one thing, like get a Dutch pot from under the cupboard, and it becomes 10 different things. I'm looking there like, why do I have so many bags? Nobody needs so many bags. Always something. Da da! I thought this was gonna be the chicken dumpling soup. Ooh, I just realized I never put the dumplings in there. That's okay. I can probably boil it for another 10 minutes. But this is the soup that I made last week that I have to finish. I'm gonna have that tomorrow for supper. I never use the word supper, do you? I always say dinner. But yeah, I need to finish this first, and I also needed the container to put that in. So I was like, you know what? Let's just wrap this up. My pods are done. I would, I would argue soup tastes better when you get to the last little bit and when it sits for a minute. I 
nails, I break my real gold chains. This is the one I've had since I was 11 years old. Why do I have this piece in my hand when it's supposed to be in this hand? I can't even deal with that right now. I love my talons, but these are vicious. I already broke this one two months ago with the same nail shape. Pray for me, because I can't have two for two today. This day is already starting off rough. I don't know what it is. I'm used to these nails because I let them grow for the last couple months. But when I first got tips and they were almond, oh, life was hard. The struggle with, no, I'm not even playing with this. I am not, I can already feel, nope, we're not doing that. It's gonna take me some Forever 21, pop that on. Also, the clasps are way bigger, so they're easier. What a life. Think about small spaces. If even one thing is out of place, the whole place looks a mess. So yeah, that's how my day is starting. I hope your Tuesday's going better. I'm just gonna use this. I have the full size version, but I want to finish the mini sample they gave me first. Which, if I was smart, I would probably save this. This is perfect for when I ever go on a trip. Can't believe it's been two years since I've flown somewhere. We gotta change that. Hopefully by spring I can do something and take you guys with me. But as I was saying, I don't know what's with these nails and breaking my good chains. Sometimes you just have to go cheap with it in order to stay sane. That I thought I was sitting on my necklace. I'm like, that necklace is really delicate. It broke in three places last time. Ugh, mercy, mercy me. They make an excuse to get real gold hoops because I've been meaning to. Am I blind? I mean, I am, but seriously, where is? This is Rare Beauty. I'm not really a huge Selena Gomez fan. I was. There was a time when I was all about Ariana Grande and I have no business. 88 over here. I'm too old for that. But these girls can sing. Back in the day it was Spears and Aguilera and I did not like Britney Spears. I didn't think she could sing. I still don't think she can sing. But I feel really bad for her situation. I still prefer Pat McGrath. I can't lie. If I had known, I would have spent the extra $20 to get that mascara. I know. If you prefer drugstore mascara, you could probably get two for the price of the difference between this and Pat McGrath. How I fix myself to spend $50 on a mascara. Truth be told, I only ever get it during the VIB sale, but still. For three months, I use it for five. <laughs> so bad. I love how lightweight this is. It feels like I'm not wearing anything, which I hate makeup. Like I like the look of lashes, brows that are actually swept and groomed properly and luscious lips. I hate foundation. You can't make me love foundation, but I like smooth skin. But one thing I cannot gel with is when things feel heavy. The only thing is, this one doesn't really, like you can't tell them wearing mascara. I have iOS 16.1.1. Okay, cool. <laughs> Let's go to work. Got my hot chocolate, vanilla bean style. I just did the dumbest thing ever. I thought I got off on my floor, but I wasn't paying attention because another dude got on with me. The floors all look the same. I'm like, hola, hola, hola. How did these machines go out of service so soon? And I started walking down like, this This part's not familiar. Completely on the wrong floor, so we here. And we're gonna submit to get coffee to make a latte. So I figured instead of spending $7, Happy to be home though. You don't even know. I love that my scissors are just over here chilling. I wiped the bottom of my bag. 
I thought this has been on way too many tables and chairs today. I have to sterilize it. Okay, no work tonight. Let's try. I'm so bad at that though. I just like to know what I'm getting into the next day. How about you? I figure people are always like, I know there's this whole thing with soft life and I'm about that, don't get me wrong. I know there's also this thing about quiet quitting, which is actually not the real meaning of quiet quitting. People have repurposed it. I guess that's how English goes. So grateful that I had this green juice today. It powered me through. I think I'm going to start making those and bringing them on the days when I'm in. I'm going to have this as a treat. I'm so excited. I thought about making some at work with that machine, but mm -mm. Mm -mm. maybe next week. But as I was saying, this idea of quiet quitting, don't you love a like, this is like a circus car, all these things coming out of this bag. I get it, we're overworked, especially millennials. We've been told, we've been sold this idea that if you work hard, you go to university, you can get a job that will suffice for your life. I did that, it didn't work out. I know tons of people who also did that and it didn't work out. But it also doesn't make sense to half-ass something when you can do it well or do it at your best. And for me, I'd rather log on early, late, check in. I uh, know I'm not getting paid for it. I know I'm not supposed to technically do it, but I do it so that I can feel like I'm at least catching, like I'm on the ball. That's just the type of person I am, you know? So I'm gonna switch into my yoga gear. I'm gonna do a quick, hey, you're about a new phone. No, this is my work phone. I wish, I wish. I don't know what this is. Oh, is this like my SIM card or something? I'm gonna figure that out tomorrow. That I will do on business hours. I ain't got time for that. But yeah, yoga, soup. Maybe I'm gonna start with some hot chocolate actually. Let's start with that. I'm so excited. I haven't had vanilla bean in a long time. Go wash the spoon. That's why I put it separately from everything. I don't trust work sponges because I don't trust people. That is, how is everyone using the same sponge? How often does that sponge get changed? Who's sterilizing this one? I don't, too many thoughts for something that's not worth all that thought. <clears throat> Pardon my reach and don't mind the mess. I still haven't forgotten about the chain situation this morning. You know when people were like, oh, don't mind the mess, but you secretly know they're always messy. <laughs> Rude. Well, if you know me and you watch my vlogs before, you know I usually have time to put this stuff away in the morning but I didn't want to be late. Had a lot of experiences in my life that I will make a story time about, so I just decided it's better to be a clean freak. So this is not like me, but you know what? I didn't want to be late, and I'm glad that I didn't put these away. I got to work with five minutes to spare. I still wasn't late, but you know, I ain't trying to risk it. But I'll be honest with you guys, a lot of times when I'm late for meeting friends, like 10, 15 minutes, it's usually because I'm cleaning my house. I don't like going out if my house is not clean. To be really morbid about it, you guys are gonna be like, yo, this girl is emo. But if anything should happen, I don't want my family coming to clean up my house or clean my belongings and also have to clean a mess. Who thinks like that? Maybe because I've actually had to do that. I've always liked to be organized. Even when I was little, I used to organize things that I had no business organizing. And I just kept it up. Now, making sure things are spotless in a place is a little different of a case because I can't always see the spots. But for the most part, I'm clean, clean. I like it that way. But people have been in actual debates with me like, why? Why do you shower when you come home from going out? Why don't I? I mean, I'm going to put my dirty body into my clean sheets and then what? Have to change my sheets? No. How about I just shower? At 3 a.m.? Yes, if I have if I have the business to be out at 3 a.m., I better have the business to wash my body at 3 a.m. I don't know what you're saying, but I always find it weird when people argue for their limitations. Like me deciding to shower after going out at whatever time i don't see how that affects you but people have actually argued me down they've also argued me down about washing my fish and my meat it actually causes more contamination houseway i bleach my sink when i'm done i'd rather know that i'm washing my meat i think that's a caribbean thing because people who are not black they don't understand why i do it and i don't understand why they don't but i'm not pushing them to wash their meat i'm just like okay okay that's just, that's just me, I guess. But I say this to say a lot of times when people fight me about things, especially personal hygiene, I'm like, I'm not over here telling you you're nasty, so why are you so bothered about me being clean? I don't get it. I don't know if it bothers your demons or what. As a woman with 
orifices. I hate that word. That's why I used it. But as a woman with orifices, like I don't care how busy life gets. I don't care if you didn't work out today. That's nasty. And someone's gonna come for me. But hey, correct me if I'm wrong. I always take comments and criticism in the comment section below. So enough chatting. Let me make this hot chocolate real quick. Yoga session real quick. A little wine with a friend real quick. <laughs> Morning guys, it's such a dreary day. I love me a good rainy day. So happy I'm home today. I think I'm gonna use this latte cup because I haven't used it in a minute. Where is my glass one? Oh, it's there. Okay, boom. Some kufe, just about ready. And I also need to make a super quick breakfast because your girl is late. I already started doing some work and I'm like, why is my stomach rumbling? Oh, because I haven't eaten. My gym sesh today was good. Just did cardio, no abs, not in the mood for that. No, 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 no. One thing about working out is sometimes you feel so good when you push yourself. Ever so often, I just say, that ain't it, today ain't the day, and that is okay. So sometimes less is more. Very rarely though. Any who's scheduled to rain all day, let's see. I don't even know why I bother checking this thing because they're wrong 80% of the time. But uh, according to this, it'll just be overcast this evening. So that'll be okay. I don't know if I'll wear this out or if this is just my bummy home clothes. <laughs> I bought this outfit to be casual chic outside and I hate it. I hate ordering online for that reason, but I love ordering online because I can actually see what I'm ordering. And I wanna do a TikTok on ordering in store, not ordering. Shopping in store versus shopping online, so stay tuned for that because being legally blind, shopping used to be fun, right now it's a hindrance. Plus, I'm in save mode, so we're not really doing that right now. I still can't believe I got through Black Friday without spending. That's not like me. Who am I? <laughs> so yeah, I don't know if we're going to go to the restaurant I thought we are going to go to when we were supposed to meet up tomorrow because I don't really want to go in that neighborhood. It's where the pole class is, but if I'm going to be going there tomorrow, I don't want to be going all the way out west two days in a row, but we'll see where that goes. Either way, I'll bring you guys along. but the good thing is it's almost done and we're gonna go get some Taiwanese food which I've actually had before because if you didn't know Jeff's Taiwanese but we're gonna go out and have it. Candace loves her Asian food so I shouldn't be surprised. I was kind of craving jerk chicken too. I should have suggested that. Oh well, next time. Got a breath going up the stairs. Oh, you don't understand. I ran yesterday the other day. I love that you order for us. Thank. They also have some really cool. I got some cocktails the last time I was here. Like, what was that? I got. What is it? What is this? I didn't. I got. Let's see if they come as pictured. It is. That's what I'm saying. Wow. Uh, Are you seeing all of this? This is huge. Yeah, girl. This is a lot. And I expected my soup to be a little darker, but me too. So all I know. Is you like to travel? Yeah. 1994. 
I have edited some stuff. Why are you dash it like that? So that way it's easier to crack. And you know, I enjoy taking the time to make each What flavor did you get? Regular? Of this? They were only one flavor. To eat, and I was like, I want to go there. So it's been on my list for the last couple years. What else is on your list? Oh, she actually has a real list. Listening to Vox Unexplained, and then I might listen to today's Explained episode. I don't even remember what the title was. Most times when I listen to pods, I literally just click and then I figure out what the subject is and when they start talking. Lively, blind. Like. As per use, time with Candace was good. Let me put my cards away, schedule a little bit to get set up for tomorrow. I like to plan and I haven't really been doing that so well. <laughs> There's that. But yeah, tonight was good. I wasn't as brave as I usually am. I feel like I've been a little too adventurous lately with my food picks, so we went safe. But we should have gone to a real ramen place, that's all I'm gonna say. Those ribs are really good, the dessert was really good, but I am stuffed, capital S. Like, and I ate all of the dessert, rude. Anywho, so yeah guys, I'll see you in the morning. Turn the eyes and the elbows inward. How are your feet? I want you to turn the feet. Bird to one stone, a little caffeine kick, and some spinach. Whoop, nip slip, not today. Don't catch me slipping, okay? I might put some tights on because it says minus nine degrees and I'm not trying to freeze when I go to pull later. It's so bright and beautiful, I feel for it. Any day after a gloomy day that's sunny, I appreciate way more. Although I can't lie, I do love me a good dreary day time to time. Let's add some pineapple, mango, and a little bit of a, bit of, bit of a peach. Oh, I need banana too. <laughs> you saw last, what was it yesterday afternoon? I added a little bit afterwards. I'm like, something's missing. What could it be? That's me half the time in life. Okay, so let me make this smoothie real quick. I don't want to put too many smoothie scenes in the video, in this vlog. So I'll just do that and I'll show you how it looks at the end. I just need a little bit of Grand Cru. The highest grade matcha you can get. Well, that's just one of the highest grade. I know there's another one that they don't even put discounts on. That one's the highest grade. Let me know down below if you like matcha. I've been trying to get my friends into it and some of them have it. I'm so proud. Okay, ready to go. There was a time when I used to love Pretty Little Thing and Misguided, but their quality is so cheap. I always have to tuck this into my bra strap so that I don't flash. The smoothie <laughs> almost got the best of me. It tastes good though. I ended up throwing some kale in there too. Okay, back at it, like a crack attic. And I'll check in with you guys, probably when I go out to run an errand, cause I'm gonna see if I can get my jewelry fixed. This place, is it this? Lord, wish me luck. battery died love that for us so i wasn't able to show you the flow other than if if my iphone got it but i wasn't about to stop what i was doing to put a new battery in sorry about that but the next time i go i'll make sure we're charged and ready to go i'm gonna do some grocery shopping now then head home then log in and fix something before i just unwind because the girl needs it i don't know why i was so in my head during this flow I need to take some me time, that's all I know. I have never been in a mood like this before. I was okay until a certain point and I can't figure out what point I want to. Cause I wanna know, it was almost like I went through a veil today and then my mood just dropped. Cause I feel like trash and there's no real reason to feel that way. And usually like when you start feeling this way, it's triggered by something. <laughs> I'm gonna have some tea. Hopefully that helps me feel a little better. If not, a good night's sleep. Well, 
morning. The tech guy was setting up and I thought it was a kind of like let him do his thing, control the computer remotely kind of thing, but no, he got to chatting. So I'm making a smoothie. An hour later, the banana is not even frozen anymore. <laughs> well, that's gonna make it easier for the blender. I'm trying to flip everything, all the perspectives to the bright side. My friend earlier this week is like, you're a pessimist. Like my YouTube fam doesn't think so. Maybe in every other area of your life you are. And I'm like, you know why? You're probably right. So I'm gonna work on that. Cause yesterday I was not feeling good. I couldn't put my finger on it. Usually I can figure out what triggers me or what happened, but it was almost as if I just went through a veil and I felt like trash. And I can't explain that. I wasn't even, I should have been enjoying the moment as they came but like I was in my head during pole class. I went out to sushi, I didn't bring you guys cause I, sushi's good, but I just didn't feel like it. I just didn't feel like filming. And there's a difference between me wanting to take a break from vlogging because I want to versus like being like, what's the point? And it's not just what's the point for YouTube or vlogging, it's what's the point for everything. And for me to just feel like that out of nowhere, like I'm trying to figure out what made me feel that way. I should have added coffee. I love how I made it. I had it sitting, staring at me for an hour. And only now do I think of adding coffee to it. That's okay, maybe I'll make a matcha in a minute. Okay, not a minute when I finish this. But I'm so excited to go to the dermatologist. I'm gonna go on my lunch break. It's just down the street anyway. And get this skin situated. I went there under a year. I don't remember when I went, but I did a vlog if you wanna go back and check. And then I got a prescription for doxycycline and it helped. She also gave me topicals, didn't do anything. But I'm hoping that she can give me something to help with the scarring, especially the burn mark here. I know that's two different types of scars, but I mean, if she gives me something bone enough, then it can really help resurface and smooth the skin. And that's what I'm hoping. I know she's probably gonna offer me Botox again, because she did last time. I find it funny a dermatologist recommending Botox though. Asked her, there's nothing topical? No. With wrinkles, only Botox. I'm like, okay, lady, you're a big proponent of it, I can tell. Hey, loves, I'm here at the Dermy. People are so sweet. The doctor, quick, go, oh, she's in and out every time. Oh my gosh, who am I? That's crazy. That is crazy. <sighs> Guys. Let me just get settled in first, and then I'm gonna tell you what just happened. For my acne and the scarring, why did I leave with Botox? Riddle me this. I mean, in all honesty, I've been meaning to get it for three years now. As soon as I hit 30, don't know what it is, because black don't crack, and my mom doesn't have wrinkles like that, so definitely skipped a generation. Anyway, joke is, the doctor was like, wait, because they all know I'm legally blind. Even the girl that took me to take photos is like, do you need help? Da -da -da. I like your outfit, you dress well. Why is the doctor telling me, wait, are you allowed to drive? I tell her no. She says, but you can see your wrinkles. Yeah, hello. I see it whenever I do my makeup with my 10X mirror. I can even see it if I go close to the mirror because that's, I never just look at a mirror. I always have to go close or use a magnifying one. I see it whenever I'm editing because I'm always zoomed in. I see it whenever I'm posting a picture because again, I'm zoomed in. So it's something that I can't see because I can't see much, but when I am looking to see something like do my eye makeup or edit a video, I see it and it bugs me. So I'm like, let's just try it. It's probably just gonna be a one-time thing. It didn't hurt. I was surprised because I've always watched videos about it, been interested and I thought I would, but it doesn't at all. Sit in my bruise a little later, but I'll let you guys know because we're not doing anything tonight. We're just staying in and we might be doing a lot more of that after. <laughs> I don't know how women do these things on the regular because I'd rather spend my money on other things like yo <laughs> that's just me though so like my nails are like my treat so this is a lot for me but we'll see I, I just want my skin to be as clear and it's the best it can be if you know what I mean I feel like for most of my life I haven't taken care of myself like I do the health and wellness like I eat well I exercise, I do yoga, I meditate, but like my hair's been falling out and I've told you guys that over the last couple months. I haven't felt like the skin is skinning. So I want this season and next year to be about self-care in the best forms possible. But again, I don't think this is gonna be a regular thing because the whole snake venom, yeah, I don't know about that. 
I would have filmed it for you guys, but she's like, no, 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 no cameras. Okay. Probably would have been gross to see the needle anyway. Morning guys, I hope you're doing better than I am. You saw me in the gym this morning. She said I would have a headache for a few hours. I still have a headache today. Add to the list, dizzy, woozy, lightheaded, nauseous. Had to stop my workout three times because I was just whew, out of it. But we're gonna go on with the day. Hopefully I feel better. All I can say is I'm not doing this again. This can't be worth it. And how come no one else is having these symptoms from snake venom? It's always me, even when I got back. Good guys, nearly died. Oh, my body does not like anything foreign. That's all I know. I'm definitely gonna start today with the smoothie when we're done doing the hair. Should I do one of these or the seashell clips? I wanna do this one, but I feel like it's just doing the most. We'll see. Is that like too much? Or would like a neutral one do better? I don't know. You know what, leave it. If anything, I should film since I haven't filmed a sit down video in over a week. But if it doesn't look right with the outfit I'm wearing for filming, then maybe I'll switch it out. Or maybe I'll just wear this outfit. <laughs> Girls, out of sorts. I was scared this morning when I got up. I'm just like, what is going on with me? Hmm. <sighs> Time to make a smoothie. But first, TMI, here's your warning. Remember yesterday I said I was losing my hair? This happens every time I shower. This is not okay. There's almost nothing I own that isn't somewhat discounted. Speaking of, Aritzia came. This is a turtleneck that I've wanted since September, but I said, no girl, you know the sales are coming. Stay tuned for next vlog. So you're gonna see a couple more things and then after that, that's that on that. I swear, nothing for three months because the way I need to get on my savings. And you can hold me to it because I'll be vlogging every week. Oh, this is really giving purple, purple. How am I supposed to get my big head with my big curls? I wish it had like a little zip on the side or on the back, but I think I can stretch it. There was a thin strapped bodysuit that they had. I saw it in August. I went to the store to order with something else. Tell me why when I went to the store, it was out of my cart, out of stock completely. That's the thing with Aritzia, you can't sleep on their stuff. So luckily, I don't think anyone's really into purple the way I am. It's easier to shop online when you can't see. You can zoom in to see the price and the size easily versus struggling with the tag. That reminds me, I have to post a TikTok about that. But problem lies in not getting the true color. No matter how much I brighten my screen, you never really know until the item comes. Did you know that purple was my favorite color? I don't wear it often because then I come into situations like this where I like it, but I don't know if I like it on me. Anyway, don't know if you can hear the sizzling in the back. That's my stir fry. I'm going to eat it real quick. Then I should probably film, but honestly, I'm not because I don't feel like it. Even though I'm filming right now, it's different chit-chatting versus getting into the mindset of doing a sit-down video about Star Guards or even my favorite things because I've been wanting to do a video like that for a while. But I've been discouraged, honestly, so I have to boost myself up a little bit. Maybe I will before I head out to meet with David, who I haven't seen since last month. That's a record for us. Definitely not with these sweats, which sucks because I'm always looking for contour tops to go with sweats, but I need to stop wearing sweats. Before I forget, okay. I have to put this out here so I don't forget to bring it today. Okay, what do you think? Can I wear this tonight? I'm not clipping it because I don't know if this is the fit. Something about it. I haven't even seen it because I can't see the viewfinder, but just looking down, this purple with vegan leather leggings, it's giving Barney, you know? Am I, am I crazy? For a girl who loves purple, I'm hella picky. Is this any better? I'm thinking because it's not shiny on the bottom. It's not bringing so much attention to the top. But the top is not the problem, it's very basic. I think I'm in my head too much about this. Oh, maybe they thought we are tourists. I love it. Oh my god, thank you so much. Yeah, now you have money. What? Sir?
rolling stone, stone. I'm too high for you to own. In the whip that's meant to speed. If I hurt you, would you leave? Thank you for getting rid of that. Hey moms, back home. What an adventurous week. We started with Momo and ended with Paella. But hey, that's how it goes. One thing I love about the six is you can have any cuisine your heart desires. I hope you enjoyed spending another week with me. I'm just gonna sip on some hot cocoa and start editing this vlog so it's up in time. So until next time, stay safe, stay sane, stay blessed. Love and later.